It all starts with a perfect, clean silicon wafer, 12 inches across. It's spun at high speed. A few drops of a UV-sensitive liquid are enough to coat the wafer evenly. And then, it's into the photolithography machine. It's a bit like the way photos used to be printed in a dark room, but in a machine costing a hundred million dollars and with the accuracy to match. 60 years ago, a transistor we are able to see using humans' uh, naked eyes. Today's the size is in fact like uh, almost 10,000 times uh, smaller than a human hair. That's a huge amount of uh, innovations uh, especially coming from photolithographies in order for us to print or define such small patterns onto the wafers. Inside the machine, the wafer is exposed to UV light, projected through a mask carrying the design like a film negative. This light optically prints the circuit design onto the wafer, causing exposed areas to solidify while unexposed ones are etched away. This process happens time and time again as the circuitry is built up in layers. And with the pathways in the circuits measuring just a few nanometers, the tiniest bit of contamination could disrupt the entire production line. The staff may be in their bunny suits but the best way to keep the chance of contamination to a minimum is to keep the people out. To do that, you need to automate whatever you can. Getting machines to move the wafers about the factory floor not only keeps humans away from them, but it also optimizes delivery efficiency. Loading machines take the printed wafers and place them in specialized containers. These containers are then hoisted up into little buggies running along overhead rails. With all this high-speed traffic, the little vehicles are covered in sensors so they can detect one another and regulate their speed if they get too close. There are thousands of them in this mega factory, and together they travel nearly 400,000 kilometers every day, the equivalent of circling the planet 10 times. The earliest the MHS 那人的操作機台可以從10台變成現在的30台甚至含以上,這個是以前沒有辦法做到的事。Altogether, there are thousands of huge machines on the factory floor. And as expensive and reliable as they are, they still need constant monitoring. Fortunately, for purposes of keeping out contamination, this can be done remotely by a remarkably small crew located at the far end of the factory. Our factory is now to do a number of units, about 5 70到90位同仁來完成這件事,所以人基本上在半導體業界來講,已經從以前的勞力操作變成要知識邏輯上的判斷。Wolf Chen is in charge of this crew. They have to make sure that the 100 or so processes inside the clean area are all running to plan. They have at their disposal over 50,000 sensors and 250 million control points. This results in an astonishing flow of data, reaching up to 30 petabytes every single day. <laughs> 